Welcome everyone to today's rescheduled edition of the EV Journal Club. Um, I thank you all for coming out today. Um, after some technical difficulties that we had on Wednesday, we've been able to solve those and fortunately have our, our presenter um, on the line today. And we're looking forward to an exciting uh, presentation and discussion afterwards. Um, so I just ask as usual that you put your comments and questions into the chat box um, and we will then be able to unmute you um, at the end of the presentation. So I'd like now to introduce our moderator for the session today, Yao Huang, and she was actually the first person to give one of these virtual EV journal clubs back in March. Um, so she's returning today to, uh, to, to moderate. Um, and uh, so Yao, I'll hand it over to you and thanks so much for helping out with the club today. Okay, uh, thanks so much, Ken, for the introduction, and thanks everyone for joining us today, especially after the reschedule. I'm really happy to see you all around. Uh, it's really a great pleasure for me to introduce our speaker, Professor Gang Long, who is coming to us from China today. So Gang is the leader of Virus Assembling Research Group in Institute Pastor of Shanghai Chinese Academy of Science. He has been studying molecular virology for almost 20 years and has rich experience on uh, hepatitis virus and arbovirus. From recent year, he also uh, started in investigate how lipoprotein and EVs affect virus fusion assembling and virus host interaction. So uh, thanks so much, Gang, for sharing us your work today, and we are looking forward to your talk. Thank you, Yang, for the kind introduction. I'm Sang Ken. I'm Yang from um, uh, Institute Journal Club um, Online, and um, gives me the opportunity to uh, uh, introduce our work related to hepatitis C virus. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, use HCV as a model virus and uh, try to share some of our findings related to um, um, uh, lipoprotein and also EVs and. Uh, how the lipoprotein and EVs uh, uh, participate into uh, HCV life cycle in infection and assembly in the yeast. Um, hepatitis C virus, uh, everyone knows, uh, this year the Nobel Prize uh, um, it, uh, was, uh, was given to uh, uh, HCV um, identification. And HCV is a, a global problem, the infection is a global problem. And, uh, this virus um, is very um, heterogeneous in terms of its genome. And it has six genome, uh, major genotype, and uh, it can also be subcategorized into uh, a subgenotype uh, because of the mutation that applied uh, to the uh, virus replication, genome replication. Um, HCV can be used in uh, HCC um, in the end uh, for um, around. Uh, 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 Fifteen percent of uh, people uh, can uh, be uh, contacted, contracted to this virus can develop to uh, uh, chronic uh, virus infection. And uh, without uh, the treatment, uh, a big portion of these uh, people can deliver uh, can develop to uh, HCV. And the HCV genome is uh, relatively simple; it's a positive strain RNA virus. And it has um, uh, its five prime and three prime uh, untranslated region. And this region, uh, these regions are responsible for the virus replication. And uh, uh, flanked by these two uh, regions are a big open meeting frame. And this uh, big open meeting frame can be translated into a polyprotein. And polyprotein uh, after cleavage by uh, host and viral proteins. It, Give rise, uh, will give rise to uh, 10 mature proteins, and some of them are structured proteins, and some of them are, are not structured proteins. And structured proteins are the core, uh, which are the capsid protein and the envelope protein. You want to know too. The envelope like, like protein are very important for virus entry. And the life cycle of viruses is uh, um, uh, Similar to other viruses, the virus has to bind to and substitute it in the uh, receptor and enter the cell. And uh, in the cytoplasm, the genetic information has to be uh, functioning and released and uh, translated uh, through an uh, IRS mediated mechanism. And RNA, trans RNA replication is uh, using the RNA as template, template into uh, 
to produce the negative strain of RNA and, and more and more positive strain RNA. And finally, this RNA genome has to be tagged into uh, the virus particle and assembled as the infectious media. Um, the DNA development for hepatitis C is very uh, successful uh, for um, the clear um, molecular biology of its non structure protein. Uh, MSS3 is the MSS3 the protease, which is in charge of the cleavage of the uh, mature, mature non structure protein. And MS5A is an RNA binding protein, is uh, uh, responsible for uh, or involved, very importantly involved in the uh, virus replication and also virus assembly. MS5B is an RNA dependent on polymers, uh, which is in charge of uh, the RNA replication using RNA as a polymer. Uh, the treatment with DNA is very, very successful, but um, um, there's, there's still uh, very, uh, 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 very much unknown about the virus life cycle, for instance, the virus morphology. And uh, uh, unlike many other clinically important uh, virus, uh, like HIV, influenza, and other uh, insect borne uh, plague virus, um, newly emerged coronavirus. And old herpes and the Ebola and the nasal virus. And this virus, you can see it on a microscope with a very distinct um, morphology. But HCV is not something like that uh, because uh, hepatitis C virus is composed uh, not only the um, uh, virus encoded components, but also uh, uh, proteins coming from the host, namely the apolipo protein. Uh, especially in political protein E, what we found is uh, there's a very important uh, important component of the virus particle, and it's very important for the infectious uh, B-rail assembly. So today uh, I'm going to show you uh, two pieces of um, um, uh, published work um, um, uh, generated from my group. Uh, the first part is about apolipo protein E, and uh, the title is Neglected Protein Protein Role of Apolipo Exchange uh, in um, HCV Infection. Um, why are we working on that is because uh, we know um, apolipo E is important for the infectious virus particle production, but when we produce virus coming out from apolipo E KO cell, we name uh, apolipo E KO virus. And also from the uh, uh, APOE reconstituted uh, cell line, we call it APOE HA, it's APOE determinant HA tag. And we can produce these two types of virus. But when we use these two types of virus, we will affect the cells uh, without APOE, all this APOE reconstitution, we found very, um, very interesting phenomenon is uh, the, the same virus coming from uh, the same cells are the infectivity of these types of uh, virus is very much dependent on the expression of the APOE uh, in the target cell. Um, we also try to use not, not only by the KO strategy, but also by SHRNA strategy. And um, we made cell lines expressing um, um, no APOE, or very little APOE, and uh, APOE2. Uh, uh, able to, to uh, three and four uh, uh, ally and uh, with HA tag. Uh, with these type of cells, we can use uh, uh, normal APOE expressing virus or APOE down virus or APOE reconstituted virus. And all these three types of virus, the infectivity is also similarly dependent on the expression of APOE in the target cell. So, uh, based on these two pieces of information, uh, then uh, uh, we start to uh, think what might have, what, what will be, be the cause of the infectivity difference. Um, also, the virus coming out, uh, the viruses are coming out from the same cell background. And then we start to uh, uh, think um, maybe if something uh, in the media uh, of, um, of, of the target cells. Uh, affect the infectivity of the same virus. And uh, what we did is uh, we uh, use two different target cells. So the normal APOE, SHAT cell, or the SH APOE without APOE expressing cell. And then we remove the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, 
reach the medium and then replace it with two different medium and then give the two different parts to, uh, to do the infection. And we find out if you change the medium uh, to uh, prior the virus infection, if the medium contain A, B, E, and then the, the, uh, the virus infectivity is much higher than the, the, the medium coming on the film that A, B, E negative factor. And then we ask the then next question is A, B, E is really important for, uh, for this type of um, uh, medium between uh, uh, infection enhancement. Uh, then we try to deplete the A for you from the medium. Uh, we use HA uh, uh, specific antibody to capture the A for you from the medium and uh, how to depletion. And then we put the medium back and to see whether the uh, medium medium enhancement uh, phenomenon is still there. And we find out uh, the, 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 the enhancement effect is gone um, if we deplete the A for you, uh, no matter. Uh, what type of virus are we using? So with this type, uh, with uh, this, uh, uh, at this step, and then we know uh, the ApoE expression uh, and the secreted ApoE is very important for virus infectivity and uh, uh, what will be the, be the reason. And ApoE is an uh, exchangeable lipoprotein name. Um, by, by the definition, exchangeable lipoprotein and uh, that means the ApoE can exchange between uh, lipoprotein particles. For instance, a very uh, low density lipoprotein or high density lipoprotein, the uh, ApoE might shuttle uh, between different uh, uh, particles. And then the next question would be uh, whether ApoE can uh, shuttle between uh, lipoprotein and uh, the HCV, the uh, lipoviral particle. And the next experiment we did is um, uh, um, we um, we use HA uh, and tag the ApoE and then background and to produce ApoE uh, produce lipoprotein particles and on uh, a different uh, cell set uh, we produce virus uh, with the E2 protein but with uh, with E2 protein and tag it with uh, a flag of E terminal E3 so. These two means that we can uh, isolate the, the, uh, the uh, VLDL from the ApoE background. We can also isolate uh, uh, virus particles from the flag uh, E2 uh, virus background. But when we mix these two types of um, 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 culture liquid, um, and um, then we do immune capture. Then we use the HA to uh, capture the VLDL, and we find out that actually this HA ApoE can also co-capture uh, the uh, co-capture uh, the infectious virus, and uh, we can show by a uh, lesson block we can uh, retrieve uh, an E2 protein, and we can retrieve core protein and uh, viral RNA and also infectivity. And on the other hand. And when we use the flag E2 to, uh, to isolate the virus particle, and we can also identify the ApoE with the HA tag. So uh, by these two direction new uh, precipitation experiments, then we find that actually it's changed between each exchange of ApoE between LDL, uh, lipoprotein particles and the lipoviral particles actually uh, happens. And uh, uh, we find out actually this uh, uh, exchange is very important to uh, maintain a high ApoE level on the lipoviral particle at this type of uh, um, uh, high level of lipoprotein is important for uh, virus attachment uh, to the cell surface. Um, to summarize the first part, um, um, ApoE expression, we know, is important for um, high cell permissiveness to HCV infection and exogenous ApoE level supported by the infection pathway cell are the key element to control the infection efficiency. And ApoE exchange uh, actually uh, happen, uh, happens between uh, HCV lipo viral particle and also lipoproteins. And sufficient ApoE. Uh, surface level on lipoviral particle, and this kind of uh, high level of ApoE maintained by the optimal 
that if we exchange with equilibrium, it's important for uh, virus attachment uh, to maintain the, the, the virus infectivity. Um, the second part uh, it's um, it's about uh, um, HCV uh, E2 protein secretion, and um, uh, we find that quite uh, synthetic protein is very important for, uh, for HCV uh, sensitivity to neutralizing antibody, and the reason is because synthetic is important for exosome uh, or extracellular vesicle uh, secretion. And uh, E2, we find out that uh, E2 is actually part of uh, the extracellular vesicle uh, derived from HCV infected cells. And uh, next, I'm going to uh, tell you uh, uh, how we reach that uh, uh, conclusion. So, exosome biogenesis is not uh, 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 it's not new for for the audience of this journal club. It's coming in, uh, from a uh, multivascular body, imagination of the multivascular body, and uh, upon fusion of the MEB to uh, transfer uh, to plasma membrane, the exosome may release the two exosomal state. And there are some uh, uh, common uh, markers uh, we used in uh, uh, the following study. Um, the reason why we uh, work, um, uh, why we started this, uh, this, uh, this work is because uh, uh, we find uh, HCV, lipo, uh, HCV lipoviral particle is, uh, is really puzzling. And we find out that uh, apolipoprotein lipoprotein uh, is a major host, uh, it's a major type of host of protein joining the infectious viral particle. And we ask you whether uh, it's possible to purify this type of virus and find out more uh, important host factors, uh, which is important for the, uh, for the uh, infectious virus production. And uh, the way to uh, do that is to isolate the virus uh, from, uh, um, culture fluid, from uh, culture fluid of the virus infection. And the, the, the way we do it is uh, we still take advantage of uh, a flag E2 coated virus particle, and we use a flag uh, affinity and capture uh, strategy to uh, uh, retrieve uh, the virus. And by using the, uh, this, uh, this strategy, uh, we can retrieve more than 50% uh, of the infectious virions. Uh, but based on the uh, purification of similar uh, purification strategy, uh, uh, what we found uh, on the uh, left side of the screen, and what we, uh, what, um, uh, Charles Rice uh, group uh, found on the right side of the screen. Uh, we use the same strategy to uh, to immune capture the virus particle, but at the same time uh, we find out uh, uh, a lot of uh, 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 EV marker protein. Uh, um, the most uh, 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 noteworthy uh, protein is, is uh, an SDCDP called Cindy and binding protein, and the other name is uh, uh, Cintamin. So, with two different groups using the same strategy, we identify the same set of uh, uh, proteins, and these proteins are um, very commonly seen in uh, extracellular vesicle of different sorts of um, 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 cell culture system. And that's the first hypothesis is uh, uh, maybe apart from uh, the uh, apolipoprotein uh, uh, um, uh, fingerprint, uh, fingerprint uh, coming from uh, host cells, there might be uh, exosome uh, uh, fingerprint to the uh, also to the infectious virus particles. So the next step, what we did is we uh, uh, try to uh, lock out Synthony from uh, from hepatocytes or from hepatoma cells, and uh, uh, we also try to test uh, uh, synthony. Uh, uh, we try to test in this uh, uh, lock uh, out uh, background whether the life cycle of the virus, the kinetics of the uh, protein accumulation, is changed. But uh, very sadly, from the panel A, B, and C, what we found is. Uh, um, if you uh, knock out the, the synthetic expression, 
um, HCV life cycle is not uh, much changed. And the infectivity is not changed and uh, the structure protein in the plant and the core protein and the non-structural protein is 5A is not changed at all. And then we think uh, probably is because of the expression level certainly in uh, uh, the total cells is too low uh, and then uh, not not knock it out, it will not help you to find out the phenotype. And we try to see whether a primary spatocyte has the same level of human expression. Uh, in the, um, indeed, the expression level of uh, uh, primary hepatocytes is much higher than the uh, cell culture model cell uh, we used in, uh, in, in, in lab. And then the next, next thing we try to do is to uh, try to uh, bring up the symptomatic expression level in uh, the hepatoma cell and try to uh, see whether there's anything related to infectious virus production. But unfortunately, no change at all. And uh, so that means infectious virus particle is not affected by, uh, uh, by symptoms at all. But what we found is um, uh, interesting is uh, the core protein expression accumulation and non spectral protein 5A accumulation is not affected by symptoms at all. The expression of the U2 level is much lower inside of the cell. Um, you can see that um, in the panel E, and uh, uh, in the uh, symptom is pressure in the right part of the, uh, of the block. And uh, the U2 level is much lower than the, uh, the cells expressing GFP or the Y type cell. So that tells probably symptom is uh, responsible for the U2, uh, U2 uh, low level inside of the cell. And then we are uh, trying to uh, uh, confirm that because um, um, there were, uh, at that time, and there were uh, um, hypotheses, um, exosome, right? Cellular vesicles might be uh, important for uh, transmission of the uh, uh, viral genome and then to set up a, a functional um, um, infection. And uh, we further confirmed, uh, further um, uh, performed the experiments uh, to see whether this is true or not. And uh, from our experiments, uh, what we see is simply an overexpression upregulated um, uh, Alex and the CD3 uh, and secretion in the circulation. And uh, we also see uh, the uh, overexpression simply bring up a uh, higher uh, in two, uh, um, bring up a higher. Um, E2 level in the circulating after E2 uh, a flag purification uh, shown in the panel B. And this tells us actually uh, uh, the, the down regulation of the initial cellular E2 level might, uh, might be uh, um, caused by uh, higher secretion of the, uh, of the exosome, and the exosome uh, is the carrier of E2 protein. And we, we also try, try to use a genetic, um, or, uh, um, um, genetic um, method. And we knock down, uh, and we knock out the uh, structured protein E1 and E2 and uh, G7 uh, or core protein, or uh, just all the expression of these structured protein. And we find out actually if um, or the assembly is um, abolished, E2 secretion can still happen. So, that means uh, it's in agreement with our previous previous finding. Uh, the symptom level is not uh, related. It's, uh, it's not with, um, um, it's not related to the, the production of the infectious virus particle, but it's very important for the two um, secretion. Um, After virus infection, we found a mixed phenomenon. We also tried to just overexpress the structure protein or just as, um, without virus replication, without non structure protein. And uh, uh, in stable cell lines, we expressing uh, synthamine and uh, uh, structure protein. And we found that synthamine high level uh, bring up much more uh, um, exosome marker and also bring, uh, bring up more uh, E2 protein. Uh, in uh, um, in supernatant after flag purification, and by using uh, immuno uh, EM analysis, we also find the exosome uh, 
I just said it was uh, vertical uh, shapes and the electron microscope uh, decorated with uh, with uh, uh, E2 specific antibody. And exosome purified by um, the sequential centrifugation uh, also confirmed uh, the E2 secretion uh, together with the exosome markers. And then the next we will ask uh, we we ask uh, what type of function is uh, this part, this uh, 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 population of extracellular vesicle carrying E2 protein? Uh, we know uh, the uh, virus production is uh, uh, irrelevant to the to the exosome E2 secretion, and the higher level of E2 secretion or low level of E2 secretion, whether this type of background has uh, has effect to virus infection. And then uh, we tried to use um, uh, um, cells expressing thickening or expressing very low level of thickening. And um, uh, do I, uh, we did an HCV infection on, on both cells and uh, try to retrieve a, a virus from uh, this, uh, this cell background. And then try to test uh, whether neutralizing antibody uh, can. Uh, can block the infection in the same way. And uh, what we found in the panel A by using the uh, uh, HCV report, the recipients report the virus, and we find out that actually the virus coming out from the simply high background is much more resistant to uh, neutralizing antibody um, um, blocking. And um, uh, this blocking can also be uh, um, can also be achieved by direct addition of um, uh, supernatants coming from an uh, induced secreted or, or E2 expression uh, expression cells or the structure protein expression cells. And uh, uh, we tested not only uh, the uh, uh, normal prototype HCV, uh, HCV uh, uh, strain, but we also used a different uh, genotype of strains. Um, the genotype one A and one B and the uh, genotype two, and we see a uh, much, uh, very much similar uh, phenomenon. So it tells us actually the uh, exosome secreted uh, uh, secreted from infected cells uh, carry E uh, two protein, and this E two protein uh, uh, can um, help the virus infection to escape uh, neutralizing antibody in cell. And at last. After we uh, tested uh, uh, more than 70 clinical uh, uh, samples, and uh, we uh, tried to uh, see the uh, correlation between the E2 level and thickening level, and also uh, the, uh, the antibodies, uh, the, the, the serums, the, the serums um, uh, neutralizing uh, capability, and it shows a direct. Uh, uh, um, correlation uh, between the E2 level and also the uh, uh, the EC50 level. So it tells us um, uh, the E2 level and uh, uh, certainly level high serum, uh, although the neutralizing antibody is there, but the neutralizing uh, the neutralizing capability is uh, is much lower. So at last, uh, we uh, we tried to use the um, uh, uh, primary uh, human uh, hepatocytes and try to modify the thickening level in this in these type of cells by using a uh, neutral virus uh, immediately SHRNA uh, strategy, and we can uh, to some extent bring down the thickening level and the virus coming from this um, uh, PHH uh, with less uh, thickening expression. Uh, become uh, become slightly um, uh, more sensitive to neutralizing antibody uh, blocking. Uh, so at last, uh, we can uh, uh, we can get uh, the following conclusions. Um, exosome market proteins were repeatedly found in the uh, protein analysis of the two activity purified H2 uh, preparation. In the beginning, we thought this E2 affinity purified uh, material are pure. Uh, infectious uh, virus particle or the uh, infectious lipo virus particle of HCV, but actually in the end we found out that actually it's, uh, it's more than just an uh, infectious virus particle. Uh, um, E2 and simply uh, containing exosome, um, they lack a uh, capsule protein and uh, viral, uh, without uh, viral RNA, 
but it's uh, another type of uh, an interesting supplier particle. And uh, ectopic expression of simply enhanced production of the material uh, potent actually the vesicle independently from the infectious uh, viral particle uh, assembly. And at last, efficient production of material coated actually the vesicle in the PH, PHH setting and also in HH7, like the Thomas uh, cell setting uh, with high level of symptom renders an uh, HCV um, uh, infection uh, infectivity less susceptible to neutralizing antibody uh, specifically against the E2 uh, protein. Um, before I uh, end my uh, presentation, I, I I put this figure uh, here, and um, the HCV as a model to understand the neutrality uh, among the lipid protein and virus and HCV. That's because a um, um, uh, uh, healthy uh, individual or a healthy um, uh, animal, uh, the circulation system is already packed with um, uh, huge amounts of uh, lipid protein particles and also um, uh, different sorts of um, um, extracellular vesicle. But when virus infection happens, uh, a small uh, number of virus particles uh, start to uh, start to circulate and start to uh, to grow, and the interaction between uh, uh, among these uh, uh, three types of uh, uh, vesicle is um, uh, a very interesting question uh, now uh, uh, driving uh, my group uh, to uh, study the relationship between, uh, among them. And the HCV is a very special case because HCV an infectious virus particle use um, a lipoprotein, especially a lipoprotein, to produce infectious virus particle and to maintain the virus infectivity through no abolic change. And another word, uh, and another uh, direction, uh, the HCV E protein is not just the envelope virus envelope protein is not just um, um, uh, leaving the cells or. HCV infected cells as an uh, infectious virus particle it can also secrete in a huge amount uh, uh, with uh, uh, extracellular vesicle. And this extracellular vesicle carried the new protein can help the virus uh, infection through, uh, uh, through uh, blocking uh, of uh, neutralizing antibody. And also, I think um, uh, the, the interaction between the two major uh, 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 Population, the the, lipolic, uh, the lipoprotein particles and the extracellular vesicle can also be very uh, important for physiological uh, order. And, um, 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 but uh, uh, currently, this is not uh, something uh, my lab is, uh, uh, is working on. Okay, and uh, last, I, I would like to uh, uh, thank uh, my uh, collaborators uh, in, uh, um, in in China. And also uh, my uh, postdoc mentor, Lars Badenschlager, uh, for uh, 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 helping me to establish a lab based on uh, hepatitis C virus. And uh, uh, with uh, this material, uh, we, we can start to train students. And now we are uh, expanding our, our work to uh, other virus and also uh, in part uh, the uh, COVID 19 virus. And uh, uh, we we'll would like, like to thank Charles Charlie Rice and also Takashi Wakuta for helping us uh, with uh, the stage to the uh, uh, technical setup. And uh, the grants is mainly coming from the uh, uh, China different uh, agency. And at last, uh, I thank you all uh, for joining this uh, uh, journal club and uh, thank you for your uh, patience. And uh, thank you and thank Ken again for the schedule by the joint club and let me um, catch up and wish you my work. Uh, thank you all. Okay, thanks so much for this wonderful talk. Uh, I haven't seen any question coming in the chat box, so I guess I can take the chance to ask my own question now. And everyone, uh, if you have any comments or the question, please feel free to let us know and we will unmute you later. Uh, so uh, my first question 
is I think it's really promising to see your uh, HCV neutralization experiment in both the cell line and the uh, throw arm samples. And I wonder, except to look at the correlation between the centennial and the E2, did you also try to uh, directly look at the correlation between the centennial or the E2 with EV uh, in the CERAM samples? Uh, we we, uh, we, uh, we um, uh, uh, measured uh, the samples uh, uh, in, in different ways, and we measured the two level, and we measured the state level, and we measured uh, the neutralizing capability uh, uh, by uh, testing the EC52 HDV activity. And what we found is uh, actually the EC level is. Uh, uh, um, um, significantly uh, correlated to the, the EC50. And, uh, uh, but the thinking level is um, uh, the, the correlation between thinking level and uh, the EC50 and the E2 is uh, less, um, how to say, it's less perfect than perfect because um, uh, thinking uh, can also come from a uh, different, um, different source, uh, not just uh, from liver. But E2 is directly coming from uh, from Viva because HPV is very specific to uh, it's a very specific to the uh, retinous line can only uh, infect and replicate inside of the liver and the um, uh, That's my answer. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and I also have uh, another question regarding the E1 protein. Uh, cause this is also an other fusion protein, right? And in your slide, I saw the E1 actually have a pretty similar pattern compared to the E2, like it also uh, showed up in your E2 flag purified extracellular protein in the centennial overexpression cells and also even in the E2 coated EVs. So do you have any exp uh, explanations for this? Um, E1 and E2 are, uh... Actually, uh, uh, they are natural enzyme uh, uh, and perform a complex uh, as the uh, animal fusion process. So, um, not just the, 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 the EVs and all virus particles, they uh, come and go together. Um, I think it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reasonable to find that the E2 and the E1 show different uh, fashion of uh, uh, secretion. Uh, together with virus and also together with um, uh, and, uh, uh, with um, uh, uh, hydrocellular messages. And recently, we are also working with um, uh, with some other uh, virus and um, and um, uh, from Zika virus, we see a uh, similar pattern as Zika animal fusion protein, uh, the E protein and the PRN protein. Are also part of uh, uh, of um, EVs derived from an infected cell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a question, if I may. Sure, uh, sure. <laughs> so, 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 Don, th thanks again for your for your talk today. Um, I I was um, I was wondering if perhaps you could um, you could uh, speculate a little bit now um, about the connection between the first part of your talk and the second part of your talk and whether there's a possibility that these, um, that these lipoprotein particles are, are also perhaps contributing um, to, that, to that axis of the, um, you know, of, the, of, the, of the immune system, the EVs and the, um, and the virus particles. And I ask this just because there, it has been shown um, in the EV field that there are quite a few interactions between, uh, between EVs and certain lipoprotein particles. Um, and I'm just wondering if, if you know, perhaps there is some some cloaking that can also occur uh, because of lipoprotein particles. Um, uh, we didn't uh, have uh, solid evidence to show uh, um, to show uh, or to prove uh, whether uh, lipoprotein is important for uh, for the message uh, delivery. Uh, uh, through uh, EVs, um, but uh, uh, we have evidence to show, um, we do have evidence to show that um, apolipoprotein can shut up between the uh, hydrocellular uh, particle and uh, uh, hypoprotein. Um, 
but um, the physiological um, relevance or significance of this uh, of this exchange is not tested in the um, in, um, in the more sophisticated uh, um, experiments that are we did a medium uh, mixing um, so we produced um, and we released uh, from um, uh, one type of um, cell culture system and we produced a hypoprotein from uh, another type and uh, the hypoprotein of course um, especially the hypoprotein E is packed in the same chain. And then we try to use the HA to, uh, to pull down not only the lipoprotein, but pull down the um, actinosome markers from a different, from a, uh, a different cell uh, uh, culture uh, setup. And uh, the, the result is positive. So, so that means actually the, the, the material is changed between, uh, between lipoprotein particles and the release uh, can happen. But um, uh, we still, in our, in our lab, we do not have a uh, functional, uh, um, uh, functional experiment set up to, uh, to test, for instance, functional delivery of uh, RNA or functional delivery of uh, a transactivated protein uh, to target cells. Um, if we if we could have a test to uh, this, this, this uh, functional delivery system, we might test when the apolipoprotein protein of this fashion, for instance, the apolipoprotein protein B on this fashion are probably part of the energy, but the exchangeable lipoprotein protein apol E or other exchangeable lipoprotein protein apol J, um, apol A1, uh, FA2, and this type of protein, um, we can do, uh, we can uh, monitor, the, we, can, we can regulate the expression of this type of protein and see whether um, the, the, the protein can, can change the. Uh, UV is functional, uh, but currently we do not have more evidence on that. So it's just of my speculation. I just said um, we need more evidence. Great, great. Thank you. I guess um, another question that I have has to do with um, has to do with this. Um, um, problem that we all have, I think, in virology when we're studying EVs, which is, you know, how can we possibly separate um, an extracellular vesicle, let's call it a host EV from, from the enveloped virus, which is itself a, an, an EV. Um, so, so what, what are your thoughts on, you know, what are the, what are the best ways that we can do this right now? And, and is it, is it even possible to get a completely pure virus preparation, for example, given that there may be these hybrid, um, hybrid particles where you do have some components of the virus that have been incorporated into the, um, into the EV and thus make, probably make it more dense. Uh, thank you very much for this question. And uh, actually this is uh, uh, something that the, the same question, maybe it's very much the same question and it's the driving force for, uh, for my lab uh, to start working on, 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 the, on the EV and uh, the interface between the uh, uh, virus assembly and the uh, uh, EV biogenesis. Uh, from a uh, biophysical uh, property point of view, it's basically impossible to separate them. So the infectious virus particle and the EV, you can use a sequential auto procedure, and you always got your uh, exosome um, or uh, EV pellets with contaminated uh, virus particle. And um, uh, from structural biology uh, point of view, uh, what they can to try to select the virus particle and uh, then do uh, a prior EM or a structural, um, um, structural study. Um, but uh, to separate them to do uh, functional analysis requires uh, further uh, purification procedure, for instance, uh, uh, using tetraspanning uh, uh, specific isolation strategy. Um, in case of uh, you know, HCV, it's, uh, um, it's hard to do that because um, uh, what we, uh, in, in our previous work, what we did is that we tried to modulate uh, simply overexpression or simply not down. And in this way, using genetic approach, and we can um, get a conclusion, but um, to, to achieve what you uh, mentioned, to clear, uh, isolate uh, EV and exosome, um, we, we could uh, combine um, immunocapture and density gradient analysis and try to 
trying as much as possible to isolate them, to, to separate them. Um, it's, it's possible, I would say it's possible. And another, uh, uh, another um, uh, technical problem is um, uh, by using new capture, for instance, to isolate the yeast coming from and come from um, um, virus infected cells. Um, you need, to, for instance, uh, a CD63 or CD9 or positive antibody, um, but eluding them for the functional analysis is not a challenge because normally um, you want to uh, get rid of uh, um, um, or to elude um, or to, uh, to break a new complex. You have to use some um, um, acid um, um, solution, and, uh, uh, and actually, this type of solution is um, detrimental to uh, virus infectivity. Uh, so that makes uh, the, the that could make the following experiments relatively difficult. Uh, so uh, matching peptide to uh, to the to the to the antibody to uh, for affinity purification is very important. Um, I think it's possible. Uh, depends on whether uh, this type of uh, strategy is working in a robust way and uh, a clear cut way. Yeah, I, I agree, and I think that our um, our experience. So we we don't work with HCV, but we do work with some other envelope viruses, and we find that we can separate um, using using certain density gradients. Um, and and I think that the problem that we have found anyway with the immunocapture is that the EV markers are also on the virus, <laughs> at least the viruses that we study. I don't know about HCV, but they can you can have quite abundant tetraspanin. Um, on the on the viral envelope too, and in the same way, you can have viral envelope proteins on the EVs, so that the immunocapture is sometimes um, a little bit fraught with um, with with those you know with those those diverse um, elements of the of the total EV population. Um, so um, so just one one more question for you, and that is, so um, you have you have uh, reported that there are multiple um, markers uh, EV markers in your sample, um, and I, I think um, I, I just wanted to ask if you know about the subcellular distribution of those um, of those molecules, like let's say CD63 in your cells, uh, because it seems that uh, CD63 can also be found on the plasma membrane um, in many in many situations, um, and as a result, it's difficult I think to um, to say that something is an exosome or an ectosome unless you really know that cell uh, system very well. Um, and, and for example, we had a, we had a talk uh, from, uh, about Clotilde Terry, Terry's lab, a uh, recent uh, preprint, um, where she looked at some ectosome and exosome markers um, and found some ways to separate them. But I think the take home message there was, uh, was in part that, um, that unless you can show that kind of at the single vesicle level, um, it's um, it, it's it's difficult to say for sure um, which biogenesis pathway an EV has come from. So I, I just wanted to ask about what you know about that. <clears throat> excuse me, subcellular distribution of CD63, for example, in the HUH cells. Um, I, I think you're absolutely right. Um, um, the, the production or the biogenesis mechanism governing the EV the production. Um, now is not uh, well uh, characterized, and um, the extracellular vesicle can come directly from the uh, envelope, uh, from the cellular envelope, and also from uh, from uh, endosome um, derived in the vesicle, like the um, multi vesicle. Um, it really depends on the, the, the virus you are studying. Uh, if you're studying, uh, for instance, the flavor uh, virus. Uh, like HCV or like the Zika virus, and uh, this type of uh, this type of virus envelope fusion protein, they are more like uh, uh, ER reten retention protein, and most of the, uh, the envelope protein signal are uh, inside inside of the cell. Um, but uh, some other virus, for instance, uh, uh, the um, uh, flu. Or, uh, or HIV and, uh, and this type of uh, um, envelope fusion protein from uh, this type of virus um, 
the major location of MR um, cell membrane. So maybe this can directly tell you the, 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 the source of this uh, of the uh, 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 envelope protein and coatings of intracellular vesicle. And you're absolutely right. You have to, you, you need to uh, use the, uh, probably um, more um, uh, direct um, methodology to uh, to determine the source of this type of UE. Um, for instance, um, or you might use, you might consider to use an EM analysis and to see um, uh, the particle uh, uh, or the EV uh, the EV level actually the vesicle uh, by genesis process. Um, they um, also use um, um, Immunofluorescence, um, uh, but this will not tell you uh, that more. Um, so I think the best way is uh, probably use use the EM analysis to uh, uh, to do that. And I, I would like to uh, add one more uh, uh, one more uh, comment to uh, to what you already uh, 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 comment on the, on the last point you raised. Um, is, um, um, and the virus we study now is the Blady virus has this type of uh, uh, um, has this type of uh, interaction motion, interaction mode, the e protein is coated on EV and uh, it can interact with uh, neutralized antibody and it tells this type of e protein on um, the EV share similar uh, uh, conformation uh, to uh, uh, to the to the uh, envelope. Uh, protein on virus particle. Um, this is one type, and uh, the leaving the virus and uh, interaction of the, of the interface uh, may have a different, a uh, very different uh, uh, um, uh, way or different motion. For instance, uh, the, uh, the uh, pico RNA, uh, pico, some pico RNA virus, so like the hepatitis A virus, the virus particle directly is a pack of uh, of an aspect of peptide and uh, then interacting with uh, um, um, EV biogenesis, uh, replicating protein, and then uh, jumping to the uh, EV particle and then deliver infectious virus particle is negative. This is another type. And the, uh, the type you, you mentioned is, uh, I don't know uh, exactly what, what type of virus you're working with. We also uh, saw some other virus. Uh, as um, and the same phenomenon as uh, the Tetris money is just it's uh, it's coated on on the, on the virus particle, and we may directly using uh, Tetris money to pick up uh, infectious virus particle too. Um, this requires a really uh, a, a clear uh, way to uh, separate and um, uh, separate them and uh, to characterize them uh, with uh, with uh, with, uh, with um, um, extensive controls and. Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the nature. Um, I mean, the virus, virus is a type of uh, the EV too. It's composed of uh, uh, the extracellular, um, uh, composed, composed uh, as an extracellular vesicle, and with surface protein on the membrane, and with uh, uh, intraluminal um, uh, protein and uh, uh, nucleotide contents. So uh, I will not be surprised, uh, uh, given the time, of research um, uh, proceed, and uh, we will see very different type of uh, uh, interaction between the virus and between viruses and uh, EVs. Okay, thanks so much for Bill and Ken's discussion. Uh, I already saw one more question come from Steve. So Steve, do you want to unmute um, yourself and ask the question? Uh, thank you very much for a very nice talk. and. Uh, a part of my question already answered by Kenneth, but maybe I want to hear your opinion about how the issue containing its own form and secreted. And do you think other viruses also have the same mechanism secreting their protein in exosomes? Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you for your question. Um, um, the way of the uh, E2, uh, H2 and E2 secretion uh, along with the exosome. This type of phenomenon we also find in uh, other plague virus, for instance, insect virus, uh, Zika virus. Um, and Zika virus into protein, uh, E protein can also uh, 
uh, jump on the uh, actual cellular device if you want to derive it from uh, uh, so it's a device from directly from a uh, uh, module called MVD. And uh, uh, this type of uh, 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 actual cellular vesicle uh, composed uh, relatively 10% of the envelope protein secretion and uh, uh, tested uh, uh, the, the, the infectivity of this type of uh, exosome and it's not infectious, um, but um, uh, it can act as exposed to uh, antibody against B2, uh, similar to HCV, and uh, can affect uh, uh, antibody and dependent enhancement for uh, the for lady virus. Um, that's very much similar to, uh, to uh, the to what we found in the HCV case, but some other virus uh, show very different patterns. Uh, we're still uh, working on that. We need more evidence to uh, to, uh, to to see it more clearly uh, how uh, different viruses interacting with uh, uh, different viruses are interacting with uh, an EV biogenesis possible. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much. I guess we are running to the end today. And I would like to thank again for Gang for sharing his wonderful work with us. And also thanks Ken for hosting this event. And of course, everyone to join and stay with us today. Thank you so much. <laughs>